Welcome to FinaQuant channel. I will show you today how to generate test data using Excel and VBA macros. For a simple example, assume you want to generate some test data representing car sales for the years 2010 and 11. We have three car brands, Mercedes, Toyota and Renault. All these cars come with three possible colors, red, green and blue. Now we want to generate sales data for two years, 2010 and 11. To be more technical, we have three attributes, car, color and year. Each attribute has its own set of possible values. For example, the attribute color can have three values, red, green and blue. First step, find and run the macro for generating test data. This one, FQS generate test data and run it. Please select the worksheet range where you define the attribute values. Okay, select it. Please select the upper left corner for the output. Okay, select it. And here you have the test data. This works, of course, for any number of attributes and attribute values. As an example, we have now an additional attribute, type, with possible values, mini, sports, luxury and economy. Let's run the same macro again to generate test data. Run. Select the range for attribute values and select the upper left corner for output. You see it works. As the final step you can use the Excel worksheet functions like RAND to generate some random sales numbers. I can almost hear you saying uh, I must say you have a quite trivial case here all cars sharing the same colors what if we had a case like for example Mercedes having two colors red and green and uh, Toyota different colors like blue black okay you couldn't explain well but don't worry I understand what you mean there is also a solution for this another macro this time I select the multiple range version of the macro. Select the first range for attribute values. Okay. Is there a second range? Yes. Select the second range. Is there another range? Yes. Select the last range. Okay. Is there another range? No. Now select the upper left corner for output. OK. And it works. Also for multiple data sets. Where are these macros and how can you install them into your Excel file? Look for the related forum topic at finaquant.com. You will find all the information there. In any case, you will need to download the matrix and vector functions in order to run these macros. Everything is free. You don't need to do anything. You just need to remember one phrase. Finaquant can help you solve it properly to keep it simple. Whose problems? Problems of smaller companies and startups in any industry without a legacy of homemade complexity. This is a very important point, I will come back to this soon. Companies that want to keep it neat and simple. Companies that don't want to invest in expensive projects and software. Once you have started, you can invest as much as you want in never-ending projects. And this can be even desirable for larger companies with sufficient room for politics, but this is not for 
smaller companies that need to be rational. Companies that want to take the control in its own hands. With control, we mean here adjustments, extensions, and configurations. This is the self-service approach of FinaQuant. We deliver you all the information, training, if necessary, and the building stones so that you can build up your own solution. Apply early to FinaQuant for optimal solutions. I didn't want to write here out of politeness, but what I really meant was apply early before messing it up with suboptimal solutions. Because if you mess it up, it is possible that you have missed the train for simplicity and economy for all and ever. Solutions for what areas? To summarize it shortly, three main areas. Financial planning, fee and commission calculations, and product development. If you want to contact FinaQuant, you see our email address at the bottom of the slide. I hope you have found this little presentation useful and enjoyable. Goodbye.